So if you're looking to set up cool and creative interview shoots, whether with DSLRs or whatever, keep watching this video because I'm gonna go through a full tutorial with the cameras I'm using, the lighting, in a hotel room right now. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you move further, faster in media. And in this video, I wanna go through an interview setup and talk about the gear and the lighting and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna jump into that. But if you're new to Think Media TV, I encourage you to subscribe if you're into video tutorials, tech reviews, audio reviews, and content like this. And anytime during this video, definitely check out the YouTube show notes, the YouTube description, because a lot of times I'll share extra details, specs, links, things like that down there, so check that out at any time. So for this shoot, we're using two DSLR cameras for a two-person interview right here. And the first thing right off that we're taking advantage of is um, this huge sliding door window light to create our initial ambient lighting. And then combined with that, we're using standard LED newer lights to um, supplement the lighting, especially where the shadow hits here, and to really supplement the lighting on our key interview subject here. We also uh, added an additional LED light as a back hair light for our main subject as well. Then for audio, we're using a Zoom H4n and recording the audio on external audio recorder with wireless packs, the Sennheisers, and these are G2s for wireless lavalier mics. And our cameras are a Canon 6D with a 50 millimeter 1.2 lens, and you can see um, the shot created um, by this camera, and then a Canon 60D with a wide angle lens now one of the reasons I like this Tokina 11 to 16 wide shot here is because the lens is extremely sharp and so we'll end up creating two different shot compositions, a wide and then we'll be able to crop in on it with a little bit of sharpening in Premiere Pro. So it gives almost like a third angle and then we leave this one um, consistent. And when it comes to shooting in a hotel, you really got to work with what you got as far as what furniture is available, as far as the patterns. You never really know what you're going to get until you get there. So as you can see on this shoot, this is what we were able to pull off with basically what we had, but we definitely moved some furniture. And here's a few tips and some of the thinking that I went through when arranging this shoot. To get a good looking shot, it's always helpful to pull the furniture off of the wall. And so to get the shot that we wanted here, we had to move an entire couch. Don't you want to put it up? Oh yeah, is that how it? Woo. Looks good, looks good. Uh, we started to move around furniture to arrange it to get this shot. And a lot of times I'll just spend time moving things little by little, changing the lighting, moving things around to try to get a good looking shot. And so don't ever hesitate to move furniture and to do a lot of tweaking, trying to avoid feeling rushed until you get the shot to the place that you want it. Now one of the downsides to using a window light like this is that sometimes the light can be extremely temperamental if there's a lot of clouds going by, uh, white balance and exposure can go up and down and all over the place. For this, it's right around noon and so probably the best time to have consistent light because the sun is pretty much directly above us. We have another shoot that's in the afternoon as the sun's setting. And it's gonna be a lot more challenging because the sun will probably be and the brightness and everything will be a lot more temperamental. So when using window light, time of day is extremely important. Question of the day, when you set up interviews or have any kind of video shoots, what are your tips and what's your feedback on this shoot? I would love to hear from you and connect with you in the comments below. So hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe to Think Media TV for more tutorial videos as well as a lot of audio video and tech gear reviews. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Definitely let's connect in the comments and then also check out show notes. And a lot of times I'll think of extra things and whatnot and I'll put those in the YouTube description area as well. Think Media TV helping you go further, faster in media. We'll talk soon. Three yeah. ups and downs, and I've grown a lot because I was very young and immature, yeah. and now in my late 20s, so it's been a long journey, but very fulfilling. If possible, try and match your pants to the uh, carpet pattern, and that always is like a little bonus tip.